That's this. Hmm? How many? Wait, it worth a hundred bucks? No, they're worth way more than that. Are you smoking crack? Wait, from from jungle or, or rocket? L. No shot. They're like eight hundred bucks, bucks a pop. Yeah. Others based on a specific trait. What would it say about how you see them and how they see you? To find uh -huh. out, we brought together six people, blindfolded them, and had them rank each other based on their perceived weight. Then we rearranged them based on their actual hey, weight. This recently this lost my job is in such the past few days. Hope stuff gets better. I have a sweet tooth, but I love vegetables and fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a vegetarian, but I also have a major sweet tooth. I also uh, partake in the sweet tooth. Um, <laughs> I feel. I guess. I mean. I have a sweet tooth too. Is anybody here on a strict diet? I was on the keto diet. It was tough because you know you limit yourself uh, yeah. specifically on carbs, right? But once I saw like the numbers on the scale, I was like, okay, this is this is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I did it for two years, and um, you know, it, two years is a long time. It's a long keto. time. Like my doctor Chat, was like, you should. Chat, not uh, this is just a question to you guys. Couldn't you just eat less without going for keto? And instead of going, instead of just doing keto, couldn't you just eat less instead? Wouldn't that be the same thing? I do yeah. this. Like, I why are you getting mad at me? I'm asking. For two years, but oh I'm my like god, Chet! So, I'm break the fuck up. I will move, will be jubbly. I think any sort of restrictive diet. Um, I have like a keto is bro science. Like EDs and stuff like that. So I just made. I went from vegan to plant based, basically to make it like a less of a I don't know toxic kind of feeling. But I know people can do it without it being an issue. I might be generalizing here, especially in America. I think there's a definitely like food addiction problem, and I, I definitely have felt it in my life, just overindulging a lot. Food I addiction. Like in two yeah. different households. So like my dad's side, he always cooked, and then we had to eat more vegetables. You go to my mom's side, and she works all day, so she doesn't. Cook. Cook, and I usually ended up getting McDonald's or something over uh, there. Uh, the convenience thing. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. well, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm addicted. To, I'm, addicted to, I'm addicted to food. I need to survive. Of course, I need to, food, I'm addicted as fuck. Yeah. A lot of it can be seen as like a coping mechanism. If you are someone who might be experiencing some kind of, you know, trauma or you know, even just elementary, just being bullied and stuff like that, it's just such an easy thing to just find like pleasure in. Like the comforting. Thing. Exactly. Yeah. It's super comforting. Also rewarding. Like if yeah. I yeah. if I had like a good work day or something like that, I'd be like, I deserve Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you can't do that every time. Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's the hard part about it, right? You want to reward with it, you want to punish with it. Like, it's yes. everywhere. I feel like since I've become vegetarian, it's definitely limited my access to certain junk, junk foods. I think a big reason as to why I became vegetarian was to help manage my weight. My boyfriend is vegan, but I would never be able to be vegan. And then he wants me to cook for him. I'm like, oh, Jesus. What do I do? <laughs> What's y'all's relationship yeah, with activity? Like, do you do it to look a certain way or do you do it because like you enjoy it? Because I'm anemic, sometimes I feel so dizzy already. And I know that if I work out, I'm just gonna feel like crap the rest of the day. But I do want abs, you know what I'm saying? I don't have the kind of discipline that a lot of people do when it comes to working so out. Like, if you view it as discipline though, like I feel like maybe viewing it as a way of like, I don't know, like a fun activity versus like I want abs kind right. of thing. No, I think that that's like spot on because like for years I've been going to the gym and forcing myself to and I've absolutely hated it. But over the last, since I would say since September of last year, I'm at the gym seven days a week, week three to five hours a day. My particular thing is weightlifting. Um, cardio is something I've never been friends with. What? Okay, that's this guy's capping. This, that's not. Bitch, how often do you yeah, see? that's not even useful for anybody. That's just garbage. That's literally garbage. Go to the gym now. Uh, I would say probably two to three days. Um, just because it's not, that's my not even good. Has it been not, on par? Three to five hours like, a day to, to do what? Train that in your food as well. Because like I go to the gym a lot, but I'll go home and eat pasta, right? Oh, like, I got you. No, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was a swimmer for like ten years, and then I got like jobs and all that stuff. I'm not jealous. When are your muscles gonna fucking recover and a and actually do the thing that just that, that you go to gym for? You, you know that you, to you break the muscle and it has to heal, right? You, that, that's how you gain muscle is that you it 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 micro tears tears. And then it rebuilds above or some shit, or you know, it, it heals. Yeah, when do you fuck? Do you heal when you do gym five hours a day, every day? 
and work out for two years and I got into pole dancing, which I've been doing for like two years now. So I got like refit again, it feels like. As a mail carrier, I would say that, I, that I'm moving pretty much all day. I usually hit the gym and I'm there about- You switch five muscle what? Five hours a day? Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? You can do all your muscles if you go to the gym three times a week and you do go for an hour and a half. I'm Literally. Week, and just my what are you talking about? I've always played sports, so I've always been pretty active. Based off of the fact that I believe I might be taller than Sabrina, I think she should move to the right of me. Okay. I don't. I don't think I should be the lightest. Is what I'm saying. No. I, think. <laughs> I don't think so either. Uh, I think. Was it Layla? Yeah. Uh, I think you should. Yeah. I think you need to. All the way where Steve is. Why do you think I should be over there? Cause you are actually the vegetarian. Vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was gonna go. This game off. becomes dumb if people oh, get hurt. Like, like small, but like not in a bad <laughs> way. Do you get cold? I get cold a lot. Okay, yeah. so and you don't have meat probably. Like, and so <laughs> Coming into it, I knew that I was probably gonna be on the far left side. I think I would her say and the Steven should switch yeah. us up. Bye, Steve. Bye, Sabrina. It's been good. Yeah, yeah, Steve. Know. Since there's no prize here or whatever, it's just a video for fun. When people like, like, kind of get like this and they start arguing, it's like, okay, I mean. Bye, Rich. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, I guess don't move then. Carmen, aren't you vegetarian? Yeah. So I think we should. Speak. <laughs> <laughs> and you dance, right? Oh yeah, you yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't like cold time. Time. All right, so I'm next to Sabrina now. Yes. Wait, who's next? Who's next to me on my right? Rich. Rich? Oh, okay, you're still here. Still here. I think we should switch spots. I, just, I agree. Yeah, I'm just going based off of how tall he sounds. I would agree with yeah. that. Mm. <laughs> who's yeah. Who's the one that eats pasta? Oh, eats pasta. That's Steve. I yeah. think it's Steve. You're all the way to the left. Yeah, pasta. you know what? <laughs> pasta boy, stay down there. Yeah. Yeah. Steve does not need to be at the end. Based man, did that hair must be getting based polished at this I'm point, man? Out seven days a week. Mm, oh, mm. true. Okay. Rich said he goes to the gym two to three times a week, yeah. whereas Steve at is least a little more active. Slipped. The pasta. Going up. <laughs> now who's this? I'm, I'm still <laughs> next to you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're good down there. Down where? Oh, sorry. Down, <laughs> <laughs> down, right. down which way? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're good yeah. down to the smaller side. Okay. Regardless, you all sound like seven feet tall. Like I, could, <laughs> I could not. Wait, where do you mm. think you should be? Mm. Me? Sabrina, yeah. I don't know. I think you and Ruben should I was going to say, me and Ruben, I don't know, Ruben. Let's do it. I think we look alike. <laughs> I would agree with the Sabrina Ruben switch. Yeah. Okay, well, we can do that. We're literally the same person. Now, who's this? Hey, Sabrina, so how's it going? Does anyone feel like they're in the wrong spot right now? I still do. I think at least Steve and I should switch. At least. I felt like she was wrong because, again, like just hearing her voice and hearing like her background, I would have never considered her being bigger. So when she was moving herself, I felt like she might have just been, I don't want to say not truthful, <laughs> but I feel like she was just, she was talking down on herself. Can I say the program that I'm doing? Yeah. Okay, I'm in a weight loss program. So I'm in a bariatric program in which I'm in the line to do VSG surgery. And that's where they cut off 80% of your stomach to allow you to lose Does it. he keeps tagging me? Does it? He keeps tagging me. Today feels strong man. He keeps Always tagging me with the streams <laughs> anyways. Excuse me. Tall sideways. Wait. I am in that program, which is why I think I should switch. Can I say something really quick? Sure. Yeah. Uh Sabrina, I I did that program. What? Yes, ma'am. And then uh, okay. <laughs> you guys. He keeps yeah, me. I want to take off my mask and hug her. Like that was wild. You you hear someone going through that, and you know what it takes to admit you need that, and you know what it takes to to say I'm doing it for health. You know, screw everything else. This is for my health. I want to I want to move forward. And yeah, when I heard that, it was just like my heart just started flipping. That was weird. Congrats on making that choice, by the way. Right. Yeah. I mean, I just got to say, that's, that's a that's a. Did huge... you actually have the surgery? Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Yes, ma so. If she feels very adamant about switching positions, I think she knows herself better than we do, obviously. Mm -hmm. I think if you want to do it, you can do it. I think so. Sabrina, here. A little do -si though. Who is happy with the current order of the line? I think for the most part, Damn, they actually kind of got it. One, two, three. Wait, I think they win, no? Oh, 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 oh
Yo. What's going on? <laughs> no one looks away. Height <laughs> makes up for a lot of weight, so yeah, they might, might they might should be it. was like seven five. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I thought you were taller. Than me. <laughs> I, I was like trying to. Just, I was gonna say I don't think we got it wrong. In spot number six, we have Layla at 97 pounds. Oh wow. In spot number five, we have Carmen at 138. In spot number four, we have Ruben at 175. Wait a minute. Three, we have Steven at 220. In spot number two, we have Sabrina at 309. And in spot number one, we have Richard 342. at 342. Nope, you did. You win. I never doubted you guys. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I guess I can reveal this now. So I actually, in the past four years, I've lost 150 pounds. Yeah. Oh, wow. I actually used to be 441. So oh, wow. I feel a lot better about myself. Mm -hmm. And I focus on it like every day. Mm -hmm. Well, Mine that's kind of sick. Good now, job. Because I want kids and stuff. And you have to be healthy to do so. In general, how I look, like I went to Mexico. And even my friends were asking, like, why aren't you posting any pictures? And I'm like, girl, because they <laughs> ugly. <laughs> like, I didn't like how any of the pictures were coming out. So. I literally came home from Mexico and called the doctor and was like, can I join the program? So, well, you're not ugly, so I don't say that. No, I was gonna say like, nah, no, you're not ugly. You're so beautiful. So, I don't know why you wouldn't want to post pictures. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm not saying like, because you are trying to lose weight, that inherently makes, that shouldn't make you dislike the pictures. Like, yeah. I think you're beautiful regardless. Felix, you can't even do five exactly push-ups without with going body, out of breath. You yeah. should go up there and said you sit at your computer Computer for half of the day, yeah. plus it uh, says you. I've been I've been big my whole life. The food addiction thing was what got me, and I I spoke about that very, very bitch. real. Went sober three years ago, got the bariatric two and a half. Quitting food was harder than quitting alcohol, mm. and that that shook me. It's it's just as easy as saying I snapped my leg. I need it to be surgically fixed. I I was. We went to what? At a point where my my mind and my body were so broken, I needed it to be. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah he's chunkier. He said it pretty good. Yeah. What I'm going through now to fix the identity issues I was working through and all this stuff. There's a lot of me still broken from that. I just want to say to you, I feel you were pushing yourself down there. Now that I and you too. Now that I'm here, I realize I wasn't bad. bad sh <laughs> I realized I wasn't that bad when I was there. Mm -hmm. You know. So like, don't think you guys are in the shit right now, right? Like, this is the beautiful part. And I think don't my know, view Steve. of body positivity right. is pretty right. up. Yeah. Because when I was trying to lose weight, I had everyone here in LA saying, nah, you're beautiful, don't. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, I'm unhealthy, right? Exactly. Like, I'm dying. Like, you know, it's not about my beauty. Right, 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 right. Being the lightest one here, so I'm kind like of to be, to anemic, be borderline pre-diabetic. I have a lot of issues just because of like my lifestyle, but you know, I can't necessarily carry the weight. Just cause I worked out a lot, cause I did a lot of sports. I was always so thin and when I stopped, so people would like, they always assumed I had like anorexia, like all this like different stuff and I was fine. I was like eating fine. And then when they stopped making the comments, I thought that I had like blown up basically. And then that I developed like the body dysmorphia. And then I was having like eating disorders. And like when I lost weight doing that, people would compliment me. And like, that's like where they equate size to health, and I was like losing hair and like the least healthy I ever was. Record but viewers since I was today. small, they're I like, don't know what that means. It's definitely important XQC you guys find yourself L. because as a big guy, I, I attributed my identity to my size. Now I was gonna hold some video. Now I'm stuck in therapy. Get big. Okay, awesome. I enjoyed that. Okay. Um.